the schematic diagram shows appropriate pulp tissue zones the pulp tissue zones are specific to the pharmacosal therapy okay so here the given diagram is regarding the pulp tissue zones formed after the pharmacosal pulpotomy therapy so we have to identify which one is not correctly matched here it is the numer the words is given alphabets are given and the respective layer and the part of the zone is given also so we have to match these thing and we have to find out which one is not correctly matched so coming to the diagram explanations so if you look at this one this is uh, these three are very very important that radicular area is very very important because coronal area involves only the restoration part in the restoration if you look at this outer area by this one if you will know that this is a stainless steel crown which is given here to en enhance the strength of the tooth the other one is here in below this to this thing zinc oxide original built up is given to form some crown structures to withhold the stainless steel crown the tooth structure which are replaced this is replaced by zinc oxide original the tooth surface which have removed due to caries so now coming to this one, we know that the pulpotomy usually removal of coronal pulp, right? Usually pharmacosal is used for pulpotomy. Till here they will remove this pulp and what they will do, they will dampen the cotton with pharmacosal solution. They have specific equations for this one, specific solution for this one, the, the percentage of solution, everything we will see in some other questions. We go into in further questions, okay. They will keep pharmacosal and due to the pharmacosal reactions, the following things will occur. The immediately the zone which is in contact directly with pulp uh, pharmacosal will fixed that is fixation though fixer means it is reacted with this one and a kind of like protein will get denaturation kind of reactions will occur this is called fixation zones like for example particular one third of the first coronal pulp uh, coronal one third of the radicular pulp. now coming to the coagulation necrosis we know that necrosis is of so many types one is Coagulative necrosis, known as casis necrosis, and fat tissue necrosis. Like three to four types are there necrosis. In this pharmacosal pulpotomy, coagulation necrosis is occurring. So this is one important MCQ. They have asked to early, early in some of the exams. So the options were like what kind of necrosis will occur in formaldehyde pharmacosal treatment. So the answer is coagulation necrosis, and the options given were like coagulative, uh, caseous necrosis, and so many things they have given. And the radicular pulp and the last radicular part one third, apical one third is still remains a vital tissue. To preserve this vitality only, we are doing these many procedures to keep the pulp pharmacosal here and the leading to, leading to these many reactions. The immediately near to the zone, near to the pharmacosal is fixation zone, then coagulative necrosis just below to this layer and this one below to this one and the final tissue part is the vital tissue. So. Coming back to the question, so we have seen the broadly, grossly about the particular diagram. So we will solve this one. Okay, A is stainless steel crown. Yeah, we have no other thing. A is stainless steel crown. B is zinc oxide you know, build up. That is crown build up. Yeah, these two are correct and it is eliminated. Okay, here we have to find out what is incorrectly matched. Right, C is fixation zone. C is fixation zone. Yeah, this fixation zone. Then it is D is a vital tissue. No, E is a vital tissue. D, which area? This is the coagulative necrosis area. So here it is, they have given as vital tissue. So this is the wrong answer. So here the answer will be like D will be coagulation necrosis, E is the vital tissue that by the apical one third. So we know this thing about to incorrectly match this, like D is a option D. Option 4 that is D vital tissues incorrectly matched.